Hi guys, Kerry Gray here at the Junalup Resort and today we're going to be talking about the one thing that you can do in your short game setup to help you execute those shots just how you planned. Let's get into it. Now from player to player, just for a stock pitch shot today, we're gonna to be talking about a 15 meter shot where I've got a bit of carry and then roll out once the ball gets onto the green. I would see a variety of ball positions. I would see a variety of handle positions, lofts, and also orientations of where the body is. And when players do that, they tend to be creatures of habit and they would tend to preset themselves for one flight and one rollout, therefore limiting their ability to have multiple solutions to shots that they face with around the green. So for example, this would be a very common pre-shot routine that I would see with players. They would walk in, they would have a look at where they want to set the ball, they would position their body in such a way that feels comfortable, for most means that they would tilt too far back and behind the ball with their upper body. From here, they would then have the handle too far forward, and then finally, they would place the loft of the club down on the ground. Now, I've got a 54 degree wedge here, and when I follow that little routine, because of the angle of my body, because of the preset forward of the handle here, I'm turning this 54 degree wedge into something a lot less, maybe even like a 45 degree wedge itself. So when I'm doing that, I'm only really gonna produce one ball flight. Let's see how that comes out. So body first, handle, and then I'm setting the club head. The ball came out very low. I felt like I trapped it a lot between the club and the ground, and it's gonna roll out a long way. Now that's fine for certain shots, but what if you've missed the green, you've got a bit of a ridge to carry or a bunker carry, and then you don't have much green to work with. Well, then you need a little bit more height. So if I'm always going to go in and set up into that position, and then the last thing I do is change the loft, well, my body is not in a position that I'm able to execute that shot to its greatest proficiency. And therefore, I'm more than likely going to get a poor result. So, how can we battle this? Well, what I want you to do is you're going to take this out onto your practice range or around the chipping green to start off with and then implement it out on course. But it's just a different way of setting up to these short game shots that's going to help you maybe have a different flight and then roll out to those golf balls. So instead of setting the body first, the handle second, and then finally the club third, we're gonna flip it on its head and we're gonna do the opposite. Walking forward towards this shot, once again, we've got about a 15 meter pitch. I've got a bit of a carry and I want that ball to stop in a shorter amount of time. What I'd like to see you do is firstly set the club. Now, we're on a relatively flat lie here and it's well mown, so therefore I can afford to have the club face slightly open and therefore as I set this club down, I'm simply just going to tilt it slightly to the right. What that's going to help is the club brush a little bit better through this grass rather than maybe just stick and stop into the ground there. Extending on from that, the next thing I'm going to set is the club shaft. If I have the handle too far forward, well that's going to de-loft this club. And relative to the shot I want to play, I want a little bit more height. So I'm going to have this shaft relatively vertical in this position. Not only that, when you do have the shaft vertical, it's going to ensure that this club comes in on a much shallower delivery. If I have the club shaft too far forward, well then it's going to come in too steep. So, number one, I'm going to have the club face slightly open. Number two, I'm then going to preset the handle. And then finally, number three, I'm then going to position my body, and that means my ball position as well on top of that. So relative to the shot I need to play, if I have the ball too far back in my stance, that would lead to a more descending angle of attack and the ball might come out too low. So for this shot here, I'm gonna have the ball position a little bit further forward in my stance. This is gonna match up nicely with the club face slightly open and the shaft more vertical. And then when I go ahead and hit this shot, that ball's gonna pop up nicely and it stopped in a much shorter amount of time. So just from changing my pre-shot routine, I was able to produce a different result. So instead of going through that routine in the opposite fashion with the body, the handle, and then the head, that was only presetting me with a specific trajectory in rollout. If I then think about the opposite and I go head, 
handle and then body, well then I'm much more versatile with the type of shots that I can play around the green. Now let's talk about a different situation. Let's say I'm in some thick rough and there might be a tuft of grass behind my golf ball. Well, if I set up just how I did for this little pitch here, there's a good chance that that club might stick into the ground too much, or I'm gonna to need too much speed relative to the shot, and my distance control is gonna be a little bit off. So in that case, if I've got the ball sitting a little bit further down in the rough, I might need a steeper delivery of that club. Well, some variables that I can change to do that would be after I've set the club itself, I could then simply move the handle slightly forward and then move the ball slightly further back and then from there make my normal swing once again and then that would give it a little bit of a steeper delivery into the ball. So as you can see, a little bit of a different setup process and routine can give you very different results. So next time you're around the greens, what I want you to remember is let's set the head first relative to how much loft you want. Let's set the handle second relative to how much angle that you want coming down into the ball. And then third and finally, in regards to where you position that ball. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe and even comment below if this is something that you tend to struggle with. I hope you found it helpful. I'm Kerry Gray and I look forward to seeing you next time.